truths or facts and myths about cancer. Let's talk about cancer and biopsy. A lot of Filipinos are <laughs> afraid to touch the tumor because it will help spread the cancer. True or false? How about chemotherapy? A lot of people are afraid of chemotherapy. Yes. Is cancer infectious? Can you get it by being close to someone? Is cancer hereditary? Can you get it from your parents? Good day everyone. Again today, Dr. Ang Peng Tiam to answer truths or facts and myths about cancer. Dr. Ang Peng Tiam is my personal doctor. Very famous Singapore cancer specialist also in Southeast Asia. Let's talk about cancer and biopsy. A lot of Filipinos are <laughs> afraid to touch the tumor because it will help spread the cancer. True or false? <laughs> it is false. I don't know where this came about, but in actual fact, in order to reach a diagnosis, in order to be able to know how best to treat the cancer, it is very important to get a biopsy. From the specimen itself, we can understand so much about the tumour as to how it is best treated. For example, in the bad old days, any time a patient has got stage 4 lung cancer, you're talking about chemotherapy. Everybody who has stage 4 lung cancer must go for chemotherapy. But now things have changed so much. By doing a biopsy of the specimen, we are able to study the molecular profiling of the cancer. Oh, with this, we know there are many patients with lung cancer that don't require chemotherapy. They can be treated with oral treatment. And with this oral treatment, the results are far, far superior than for those patients who require chemotherapy. Just hearing you, Dr. Ang, makes me relax. I think there's a certain percentage. Uh, the patients feel it when the doctor is very confident. How about chemotherapy? A lot of people are afraid of chemotherapy. Dr. Everyone is afraid of chemotherapy because chemotherapy is a toxic drug. All right. However, when used properly, it will do more good than harm. Therefore, we tell patients, do not be fearful of chemotherapy. If it's needed to be given, we will give it. But when we can avoid it, we will certainly avoid it. Yes. Is cancer infectious? Can you get it by being close to someone? No. Cancer is not infectious. Many people are so afraid of you know, interacting with cancer patients for fear that it can be transmitted. In actual fact, it is not possible. Cancer cannot be transmitted either through close contact, whether through kissing, whether through blood, whether through you know, a saliva, sexual intercourse, urine. The cancer cells cannot be transmitted from one cancer patient to another patient. It is not possible. Okay. Is cancer hereditary? Can you get it from your parents? Yes. Well, it is well known that if you have a strong family history of cancer, then yes, you are at increased risk of developing cancer. However, it is not an absolute thing. For example, if you have a, 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 your mother had breast cancer and you are a female, yes, your risk of getting breast cancer is slightly increased. If you've got, let's say, two family members, your mother and your sister had breast cancer, your risk of getting breast cancer is increased even further. So yes, to a certain extent, it is uh, hereditary or there's this increased risk. There are some cancers that are very, very hereditary. For example, if you carry the BRCA gene, if your mother had the BRCA gene and you have the BRCA gene, then your risk of getting breast cancer is extremely high. It is for this reason that the famous actress Angelina Jolie, when she found that she had the BRCA gene, she actually went for bilateral mastectomies in order to prevent herself from getting breast cancer. But many other cancers are not hereditary. For example, lung cancer is not hereditary. Stomach cancer is not hereditary. Colon cancer, well, maybe, you know, there's a slight increased risk. But generally, cancers are not hereditary. Was that a, a correct decision by Angelina Jolie? Okay, there's no such thing as a right or wrong decision. I think it's important when faced with such a situation that you have informed consent. You must understand what are the risks what are the benefits if you were to undergo such a drastic prophylactic 
prophylactic means preventive mastectomy prophylactic ulfractomy means preventive removal of both ovaries this is something that needs to be discussed very carefully between the doctor and the patient to understand the risk profile as well as the risk of any surgical procedure every patient's cancer is not the same by understanding the cancer we need to know what is the best possible treatment once we can find the right treatment many patients have the possibility of living extended life